Here at Edinburgh Zoo, we also do a lot of conservation work around the UK. And right now we're at Lynock Ponds, which is just near Aberfoyle, because the Royal Zoological Society that own Edinburgh Zoo have been working for the last three years with other project partners to reintroduce a population of water voles here in the Lockhard Forest area. Today marks the final day of releases and we've released water voles just in the pond areas just at the back there. We've been releasing them for the last three years and now that that area of the project has finished, we've completed the reintroduction part of the project, we're going to be monitoring the population not only within the forest but also where their water voles are dispersing because we believe they're actually leaving the project area and have been found in areas where they hadn't naturally been found for the last 20-30 years. The reason that water voles have gone on, undergone such a dramatic decrease in numbers, around about 90% in the last 100 years in Britain, is due to the predation of American mink. American mink were introduced to Britain for the fur farming industry, but unfortunately they escaped and they're such an effective predator of water voles that they, the water voles just can't cope and there's been a massive decrease. We know that the project has been a fantastic success because the reintroduced water voles have firmly established themselves in the forest. Not only have we been reintroducing water voles, but we've also been surveying the water voles that have been put in, and we found that they've been doing extremely well. Not only have they established themselves in the forest, but that we think that they're also moving out into the wider area, and so people are seeing water voles that they maybe haven't seen for 20, 30 years. If you'd like to learn more about water voles, then look on the conservation part of the Edinburgh Zoo website, as well as our dedicated Facebook page that you can find on the Trossachs Water Vol Project.